Hey everybody, thanks for clicking the video. Coming up, I'm going to go for a personal best record. But going back in time now, here's the start of the round. This is my nephew Jack. We are at Williamsburg National Golf Club in Williamsburg, Virginia. This is the Yorktown course. A nice course in Williamsburg where uh, some of my family lives. You can see I'm working on that Bobby Lopez kind of like getting behind it on the backswing more and staying behind it on the downswing. But I hit that off the toe and that's a bad start. I'm in the in the trees. It's extremely extremely windy this day as you can kind of see in the in the trees and it only gets more windy. Jack and I are playing a match where uh, just straight up score and I'm giving Jack, I think I was giving him eight strokes or nine strokes, something like that, total. So uh, Jack did not get out of the trees. I hit it right in between that window really nicely, but actually it grabbed a lot and uh, it comes up way short of the green. Here's Jack. So f finally getting out of the trees. So this is a, a, a difficult up and down chance for par here. You can see the look at the color of that grass and it's very grabby here and made me kind of nervous. I got a little steep on it. I just did not Damn. hit it hard enough or clean enough. Either one. So now I need to get this up and down for bogey and uh, did not. It should have been more of like an elevator shot you would call it or a uh, helicopter shot. That's a double bogey to start unfortunately for me and Jack saved his bogey by getting up and down after uh, being in the trees twice so Jack is beating me at the moment I'm already two over par you'll see my score on the bottom left it's uh, just my square and I'll let you know how Jack's doing as well Jack had a really good drive here Jack is 15 years old and a sophomore in high school no, a freshman in high school, actually. He'll be a sophomore in September. Jack's uh, tall. He's a big kid for, for a freshman. And loves golf. Usually, Jack hits his hybrid. Well, he hit this one really poor. Off the toe. Short right. I hit a good drive. Up the right-hand side. But this is into the wind quite a, quite a bit. If you look over to the right, you'll see the wind's blowing hard. So this is my three hybrid, and I hit that really nice. Really good tempo through the ball there. Oh yeah. Got it up on the green. Perfect. Good hybrid shot, sir. The board trade for sure. So here's Jack pitching for his third shot, and he'll have that remaining for his par. Really good. Yeah, great shot. And here I am putting for my birdie. Speed was all right, but I completely misread how much that was. Look at it, keep going. This uh, kind of sad, slow march away from the hole. And it touched a piece of it, but that's a bogey. So that moves me to three over par. And uh, what's that, Jack, then? Is that a six or a? So we're. Yeah, this one. yeah, Jack's three over and I'm three over. So, later in this round, uh, I, ha I have a chance to set a personal record for myself so that you guys will see. Not a great drive here. I pulled it down the left. Solid, just pulled a little bit. Still into the wind, which exaggerates that pull. But I'm uh, near that left to bunker, and Jack went on the other side right of the fairway. Lots of space out here. Which is nice. It's a nice change from California to actually have Great horses shot, with Jack. some actual space Perfect. on them. Okay, so I'm not quite in the bunker. Oh, no, I am in the bunker. My feet are not in the bunker, but the ball's in the bunker. But not too much lip problems, and I hit it super solid. Advanced it really nicely. Oh, good shot. In the rough, but perfect. Oh, good. I don't want to be in the rough on this course. Yeah. 
Okay, so Jack for Look his third shot hit a great shot. shot. He's got really good natural tempo. Okay, so this is from about 60 yards. You can see my alignment there was terrible. If if uh, if you go back, I'm I saw that I was aimed way to the right and then trying to pull it across my body, which uh, alignment is just so crucial. So many other things can be messed up. So that's a putt for birdie. So I have that remaining for my par. Here it is for par. And this is longer, longer than it looks. That's almost five feet. So I made that for par to stay at three over par. And Jack, I believe, also made par there too. So this is a, uh, a long par three. No, actually, it's not too long, but it is, it's like 185 yards. Jack hit a great shot here in good balance. It's kind of a big amphitheater behind the hole. And uh, you can see that the, the trees on the right are moving a lot and the trees on the left are not moving much. So they are kind of blocking. You're kind of blocked from the wind here, so you don't really feel it. I hit that really nicely. I actually, my uh, tempo through the ball there was really great. But I hit it way over the, I hit it right over the flag, but way over the flag. So uh, it landed just over the flag, it actually kicked this way a little bit. So this is a, it's hard to tell, but I'm really on a slope here. But that's a great result from where I was. So I got about two and a half feet, almost three feet. Uh, yeah, it's two and a half feet. So I make my par there. And Jack has his putt here for his par. All right, great putt by Jack. All right, going on to par four here. It's actually a dog leg a little bit to the right. It, the hole is just past those bunkers on the right. Jack's, uh, Jack's in an okay spot there. See if we can see something in my setup there. No. Yeah, that was really irritating for me. I think I, a little bit before I took it back, I did that press down move that I do sometimes. Uh, and I have to kind of, I can still have that, but I can't let it get as extreme as that one was there. Got lucky because of all these trees here. It, it kicked it straight down. So this is a pitching wedge that I'm trying to hit straight up in the air because it's hard to tell, but there are trees a little bit in my way. And I did it. I, uh, I got it up pretty quick. So that, that was good. That was in good balance. Uh, stayed behind it pretty nicely, and my tempo was all right. This was uh, where Jack's drive was. A little bit muffled on the contact there. Great shot, Jack. But a really good, good result there. So thumbs up from Jack. This is my birdie putt now. This is something that I really want to work on is my my long legs. From like 15 feet or, and in or so, I'm I'm uh, confident with that. But otherwise, uh, from I should just not be leaving myself this length of putt all the time. So that takes me to four over. So. Pretty bad start, but let's see if we can get this turned around. Jack actually, on the previous hole, made a birdie on that hole. Really good three on that par four. He had a good drive down the left-hand side that's leaking a little bit. This is a 350-yard par four. That plays maybe a little longer depending on the line you take, maybe a little shorter depending on the line you take. That was a really good drive down the... It was actually a uh, right shaping right to left around that corner. Jack ended up in this bunker, which uh, is in need of some love, you can see. And some more sand. Jack got it up on the green. So I hit a, a, a really huge drive here. I have to a blue pin, I think I have 65 yards or so, but did not hit a very good wedge shot. It. Uh, I got kind of deep on it and the ball was in the rough so I hit it on the top of the face of the wedge 
and uh, did not get any energy out of that. And uh, Jack hit a pretty poor one there. So speaking of my lag putting skills, they're not horrible all the time. Awesome surprise bomb there to make birdie and take me back to three over par. So that's like stealing there. Hit a perfect drive, a really poor wedge shot, and then I think that was like about 23 steps, so a really uh, like 69 foot putt or something. This is a dog leg right, 379 yard hole. Uh, splash. All over water. This is kind of like a re eh, somewhat like a, a reverse version of 18 at TPC Sawgrass, a little bit, just because there's absolutely can't miss right. So I hit a fade at that tallest tree, and uh, I'm telling it to go left, but Jack's actually no, and the line I was on is absolutely perfect. So it was another really good drive. Jack hit it very solid. I really liked his tempo through the ball, but it came up short in the bunker and actually plugged. I have 70 yards to go. So it was uh, over a 300 yard drive, a little bit of wind help. So I have 70 yards to go. I guess you would call that a fairway hit. Let's zoom in here. Nice. Really good tempo through the ball. And left me with that. I'm the closer one to the camera. For my, this would be my third bogey, birdie in a row. My third birdie in a row. I've had three birdies in a row before, even on the channel one time. At Old Waverly, I had three birdies in a row. I've never had four birdies in a row, though. Actually, no. This is just for my second birdie in a row. Again, I'm way out of it. Yeah, this is just for two in a row. But no, I've only had... Nice! Alright, so two in a row. Really good. Birdie. All right, going on to the par three. This is 165 yards. It is downwind. Jack hit a pin high left. Just tugged on it a little bit, but it, it was solid. If you look at the trees up on the right, it is blowing very hard. So it's 165 yards. I'm actually uh, going to use my nine iron here. You can see I'm trying to get a little, my hands a little higher in the backswing, and then use a lot of right hand through the ball. Still doing my right arm only swings, and I hit that really close. I hit that like I think I my my divot, my ball mark was long pose, good shot. My ball mark was like right within three feet, and my ball rolled out to about four feet, I think. Yeah, pretty good line for Jack, just a little short. Here's Jack for his par. And uh, it was kind of falling apart for Jack, but his attitude was staying pretty good. Pretty tough conditions in the wind and everything else. And they're just getting the greens back here. So this is for my third birdie in a row. To go back to one over par after that horrible start. So, where do I want to make this? Oh! I had one like that yesterday, and as soon as I went like this in my transition, Bobby screamed as loud as he can, and I was like, what is that? And I made it, and he was like, ah, right, you're never going to get it. It's three in a row for you. Yeah, and just as, uh, actually right before, after I made two in a row, Jack said, oh, and if you birdie this one, nine is a short par five. So uh, making that one, I really wanted to make that one. Because as soon as I made two in a row, I was already thinking about making four in a row. Because I've never done that before. I've never had four in a row. So now I have like a, this is only a, a 505 yard par five. And it's downwind a little bit. And that's about the best driver swing I've ever made. I hit this hard. It went, it went really far too. Beauty, Jack. Love that hybrid. Good One of the best driver swings I've ever made. Both uh, looks and results. I, I was really happy with that. No, I think it was helping off the tee. I think I might hit five. Well, we're kind of in a box here. can't feel anything. You know what I mean? We're kind of in a box. Do what you feel comfortable. 
Yeah, I feel better about it. swinging four. I can... All right, now it's getting serious. So Jack and I are both giving it the full Phil Mickelson and Bones routine because Jack really wants to see me make four in a row too. Um, so I really talked about this a lot. I have a four iron that I have choked up a little bit and I abbreviated my swing on both ends trying to really control it and I hit it a really solid shot it was only uh it was downwind I only had about one 190 or so in but the grass here around the greens is very grabby so it doesn't roll out very much it's a uh, pollen count was ridiculously high this day so All right, so Jack and I are really reading this, trying to figure out what the break should be. And like I said, I've been having a hard time with lag putts recently. Certainly when I go out of state, even more, even more so. So that was more of a, that was a little right of the line I wanted. And I've left myself way more than I wanted to be able to break this record of four birdies in a row for me. Jack Jack has uh, effectively lost the match because he's he's made a lot of big numbers in the last that was actually two parts in a row but he made a couple big numbers that that uh, that hurt him so I'm lining it up here and I can I actually could feel the tension I, I wanted to make this for Jack more than just as much as I wanted to make it because uh, Jack really wanted to see me do this. So he was nervous about giving me a, a bad read. So he just said, yeah, the putt's right center. Actually, I actually had a pretty good confident feeling on this, even though uh, the greens weren't perfect. I thought I, I thought I would make this one. So here it is for my record. Hey! Nice. High five. Four in a row. Four in a row. To get back from four over to even, Four birdies in a row. 30, 36 for me. 43. 43 for Jack. Grab your wedge. All right. Part two coming up. Also, guys, be sure to click the subscribe button just uh, lower left of this video. Really cool to uh, get that record on video for myself and also to do it with my nephew, Jack. Stay tuned for a special Perfect. message from World Long Drive Champion. Jeff Flagg seven, seven, about three, six, the reactionary eight, golf swing, two. something that has helped me out immensely and I really recommend. What's up guys, this is Jeff Flagg, uh, former World Long Drive Champion. Um, I'm here at my home gym, Wattage, here in Chicago. Uh, if you're in the area, come check me out. Uh, it's cold, it's early, uh, about to get after a little bit, but uh, first I wanted to holler at you guys quick about building your reactionary golf swing. Uh, check that out if you guys haven't already. The link is in the description below. Um, it's just kind of a package that Tony and Brennan and I put together, you know, talking about Tony's methods and how he teaches the golf swing and, um, you know, how it, how everything kind of fits together. Um, I'm, you know, you've seen the, the changes that, Brenda's, that Brendan has made recently. Um, and, you know, I've had a little success with it. So uh, it's super simple. Tony's been my only swing coach. You know, I came from baseball, had a lot of swing thoughts, you know, that ball's moving fast, everything's kind of happening, you know, it, uh, and I, that's not a, you know, recipe for success. So, um, coming into, into golf, you know, Tony made the, the, the thought process super simple, the physical part of it is, is super simple, the cues are easy, and, uh, and yeah, I've had a little success, hopefully uh, we have more in the future, but uh, yeah, if you guys haven't checked it out, Go check it out, link is in the description below, and um, hope you guys are getting after it. See you soon.